From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Friday, January 27th, 2023. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. A South Dakota Republican state senator who was stripped of her committee assignment says that her legislative punishment followed comments she made to a legislative aide about vaccinations. Senator Julie Fry Mueller, a Republican, told reporters that she had spoken to a member of the legislature's research staff this week about her views on vaccinations. Republican Senator Lee Schoenbeck presides over the Senate and made the decision to remove Fry Mueller from two committee assignments on Wednesday. He has repeatedly declined to comment on the move. Representatives in Peer are considering exemptions to the state's abortion ban. Amy Rose has the story. South Dakota lawmakers are preparing to bring a bill allowing exceptions to the state's abortion ban in cases where the mother's health is in question. The ban is based on a broad 2005 trigger law that went into effect after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. It only allows exceptions to save the life of the mother. Erin Tobin is a Republican senator from Winter. She's also a nurse practitioner. She said it's important for legislators to understand the impact of abortion laws in a hospital or clinical setting. The House Taxation Committee recommended sending a bill eliminating the state sales tax on most grocery items to the House Appropriations Committee. House Bill 1075 passed on a 12-to-1 vote after about an hour and a half of testimony and debate. The measure was a significant plank in Governor Nome's 2022 re-election platform. If the bill survives, it would eliminate about $102 million from the budget. In national and international news, the U.S. economy expanded at a 2.9% annual pace from October through December, ending 2022 with momentum despite the pressure of high interest rates and widespread fears of a looming recession. Thursday's government estimates show that the nation's gross domestic product, the broadest gauge of economic output, decelerated last quarter from the 3.2% annual growth rate it had posted from July through September. Most economists think the economy will slow further in the current quarter and slide into at least a mild recession by mid-year. The economy got a boost last quarter from resilient consumer spending and the restocking of supplies by businesses. Federal government spending also helped lift GDP. Past presidents and vice presidents are being asked to look for classified documents laying around their houses. Amy Rose explains. The National Archives has asked former presidents and vice presidents to recheck their personal records for any classified documents following the news that President Joe Biden and former Vice President Mike Pence had documents in their possession after they left office. The Archives sent a letter Thursday to the representatives of former presidents and vice presidents from former President Ronald Reagan to our current president to ensure compliance on the issue of compliance with the Presidential Records Act, which states that any records created or received by the president are the property of the U.S. government and will be managed by the Archives at the end of the administration. U.S. Special Operations Forces have killed a senior Islamic State Group official and 10 other terrorist operatives in remote northern Somalia. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says the operation in a mountainous cave complex targeted Balal El Sudani, a key financial facilitator for the global terrorist organization. President Joe Biden was briefed last week about the proposed mission that was months in planning. He gave the final approval this week following the recommendation of Austin and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Army General Mark Milley. Pentagon officials say no civilians were injured or killed in the operation. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Snow possible this afternoon and breezy with a high of 41. Low tonight, 11. Frigid temperatures this weekend and a possibility of snow. High Saturday of 14, Sunday, 8. And that was your Daily Slice for Friday, January 27th, 2023. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose. Executive producer Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great weekend.